Hello everyone. Well today I'm going to be putting the Vax Dual V Advanced Carpet Washer through its paces. Now Vax claim that this model is their best performing carpet washer. Well Vax, you know me, I'm not one to take your word for it, so I'm going to judge for myself and hopefully by the end of this video you can make your mind up whether this is the machine for you. I will say at the beginning this is a large cleaner and it's fairly heavy, so if you can't manage heavy items, then this is probably not the machine for you. Vax do several other carpet washers, many are a half the size of this and much lighter. So if lightweight is your priority, then don't waste your time watching this video. If you need a big machine that's going to perform well and you've got large areas of carpet to clean, I have a feeling that this could be a good one to go for. But, again, you don't have to take my word for it. I'm going to demonstrate this in a real home situation using real genuine dirt that's been down on the carpet for about a year. This carpet's not been washed for a year nearly. So we can see genuine dirt being removed, not fancy you know, demonstrations you see on these shopping channels where they just chuck everything down and suck it up straight away. That's not what happens in real life. Although it's like excellent if you do have an accident. But really, you want to know how it's going to clean your carpets, how it's going to refresh your carpets, and basically freshen your home up because once your carpets are clean it lifts your whole home believe you me take it from someone who knows right you've seen enough of my ugly mug let's focus on the machine so before we operate the cleaner I'm just going to take you through the machine give you a guided tour and show you the main features of this Fax Dual V advanced carpet washer we'll just start from the top here we have the trigger you squeeze that to release the shampoo cleaning solution onto your carpet. Further down we have this onboard spin scrub hand tool and I'll of course be demonstrating that during the video. At the back of the cleaner you've got your onboard stretch hose and there's a further nozzle here for doing your upholstery. And you've also of course got your cord storage with quick release hooks at the top and the bottom. Also on the back of the machine we've got the foot pedal to recline the cleaner into the operating position and on the other side we've got the max extract pedal. Again I'll be showing you what all these functions do during the course of the video and if we go further up this side we have wash, rinse and max extract settings. Again I'll explain everything during the course of the video and on the other side you've got your mains on off switch. Looking down at the machine this is your tank that stores the warm water and cleaning solution. It's twin tanks so you have a separate tank for the solution and a separate tank for the hot water. This is your dirty water tank where all the horrible muck is sucked up off your carpets. It's got a nice handle just lifts out, there's no catches to undo, it just lifts straight off the machine and to empty it you've got this catch here and then you can just tip it down the sink or outside drain so that's that at the front here we've got the Dual V nozzle now the Dual V is supposed to help concentrate the suction power across the full width of the nozzle giving you superior drying performance. Here we have a little outlet that's where you attach your hose and that's where you'd attach the solution tube for the hose so instead of cleaning the carpets the solution comes out of that nozzle when you're using the cleaning tools. And this is the nozzle it comes off for cleaning so you can take that to your sink and give that a good rinse through because it will inevitably get all gungy up, especially if you haven't washed your carpets for some time or have never washed your carpets. That can get all gunked up with hairs and things, so you can take it off to give it a good clean. Now, let's show you the business end of this Vax Dual V Advance. This is Vax's spin scrub system. So we've got all these brushes and they counter-rotate at a very high speed. I'll just show you how they work. But obviously when you're using the machine, they rotate much faster than that. 
The advantage of this system, unlike other cleaners that have a rotating brush bar that are belt driven, you often have a patch that's not actually brushed. So some cleaners it can be as much as this much that is not have, having the brushing action. There's some machines that would have a static brush over where the belt goes, which means you're not getting the full brushing performance across the width of the cleaner. With this system, because it's not belt driven, you're getting more or less the full width of the cleaner is, is being used by the spin scrub brushes. For the small areas that aren't covered by that, we've got these side brushes that help brush up close to the furniture and your skirting boards. So basically this machine works by directing shampoo onto the carpet, then the spin scrub brushes agitate it into the fibres to release the dirt, and then at the front the nozzle sucks up all the dirty water into the recovery tank. So that's a brief overview of the machine. Now let's put some shampoo in it and get demonstrating. Right, so the first thing we need to do is fill the clean water solution tank. So we need to remove it from the machine and take it to the sink. Simple enough to do, there's a little orange button here at the top. Just press that in and then the tank springs free. So now we'll take it over to the sink and put solution and warm water into it. Right, so I'm over at the sink now and I'm ready to fill both tanks with water and solution. It's a twin tank system. I've already got some detergent in the detergent tank, but I will top that up because I'm going to be doing a larger area. And the other side of the tank is where you put your hand hot water. Nothing really above 40 degrees. As long as you can put your hand under it and keep your hand under it, that should be hot enough, but no hotter than that or you could damage the machine. And obviously you don't want to put cold water in because hot water will work better. Combined with the solution, it will clean your carpets better than cold. So make sure before you start carpet washing that you've got a tank full of hot water. So if you've no hot water in your tank, put your immersion or your boiler on for half an hour because you will want plenty of hot water. You don't want to be shampooing and find you've run out of water. So I'm going to fill this up to the maximum fill line. Nearly there. That's it. And then I'll pop the cap back on. Now the other side of the tank is where you put your Vax detergent. You only get a small bottle normally included with the product, so get yourself a larger bottle before you actually start using your shampoo because there's nothing worse than running out of shampoo when you're halfway doing your carpet. So these are available direct from Vax, you can get them from Argos and some other high street stores. This is the Ultra Solution, there's plenty of other Vax solutions you can buy, but the Ultra Solution, the Ultra Plus Solution, is the best ever according to Vax. So I'm going to put the best ever carpet solution into Vax's best performing carpet washer. So hopefully we're going to get the best results. So you pour the solution and you pour it neat, you don't dilute it, into the tank that's marked detergent. I mean you don't have to fill it to the top if you're only doing a small area you don't have to fill it but because I'm going to be eventually doing the whole living room carpet I'm going to fill it up. That'll do. And again there is a max fill line on the detergent as well. So I've got my hand hot water and detergent now I'm going to refit it to the machine and let's get cleaning. Putting the tank in is quite straightforward. Just offer it up to the machine from the base and push it forward until it clicks. You'll know it's in because the button makes a satisfying click. So all we need to do is unwind the flex, plug it in and we're ready to go. Now before you wash your carpets, it is very important that you thoroughly vacuum them first. And when you vacuum your carpets, take a little bit more time to do so. Don't just quickly whip over like you might do normally just take that extra bit of time to give your carpets a really thorough clean. Overlap your strokes and crisscross your strokes as well. I've done this with this part of carpet. Now you can see I've moved some furniture as well because there's been indentations left where the dining table goes. So 
Not sure if you can pick it up on camera, but this carpet is quite grubby. This is a very grubby area. This is a heavy traffic area that goes from the kitchen and there's another area from the back door as well. So this area here is really where we have the most dirt to deal with. Obviously the, where the table's been, there shouldn't be so much because we don't walk on that area. But this area especially is where most of the traffic comes into this room. So that is where we're going to see, hopefully, the best result. One tip, a carpet washer might help to get rid of some of these indentations, not completely eliminate them, but if you're going to put your furniture back there anyway, it doesn't matter. One little tip, if you've moved furniture and you want to leave it in a different position and you've got these horrible little marks, put an ice cube on it. It doesn't always work first time, you might have to do it a couple of times, let it dry, then do it again. And normally the ice cube helps to soften the fibres to separate them and they will bounce back up. Also, a steam cleaner is all, can be used in some cases. You might be able to get rid of the indentation, but it could take quite a while for it to eventually recover, especially if you had something very heavy on the carpet. Right, so I'm prepped. I've moved the furniture and I've vacuumed this area thoroughly. So now I need to start cleaning. And always best, start at the exit, furthest to the exit, so in the corner of your room, and you always finish at the doorway where you're going to leave the room and, and then leave the room as long as you can. So do it early on in the day, leave the room, go out, have a good time, whatever you want to do, or go to work, and then you'll come back to nice clean carpets. So, without any further ado, let's switch this Vax Dual V Advance on and see how it performs. Right, the first thing we need to do is recline the machine into the operating position. So we need to press the foot release pedal And before you turn on, make sure the slide control here is in the wash position. Now all we need to do is switch the machine on and start cleaning. Right then, that's the carpet cleaning part of the demonstration done. And I think you'll be able to see, just to be able to see on camera, that the area that I've done, which is the most heavily soiled area in the room, 
there is a definite difference between the area I've washed, rinsed and dried compared to the areas I haven't done. But the proof of the pudding is in the dirty water, so let's empty the dirty water tank and see what we've got. So here I am at my kitchen sink. I'd empty it down the sink or your outside drain or if you've been cleaning up something rather nasty from like a pet accident, it's probably best to tip it down the loo. Well, before I even open the container, I think you can see how dirty that water is. One criticism I will have, it's a little bit messy to empty. When you open the lid, which you do by releasing this catch, there's no specific area where you pour it from. There's no lip uh, to indicate, no pouring spout. So, depending which side you pour it from, it can make a bit of a mess. So make sure you hold it right over the sink before you tip it out. Right then, let's have a look. Well, I think you caught that. That was a whole load of dirt that is now down the sink and no longer in my carpet. The Vax Jewel V Advance comes with a set of cleaning tools to tackle your above floor jobs and those smaller areas where you can't actually reach with your main carpet washer. So you get your onboard stretch hose here and on the end of the stretch hose, which you just remove off the caddy like that, on the end of the stretch hose is your standard nozzle. It's suitable for your upholstery, your car seats, and like I say, any nooks and crannies where you've got big bits of heavy furniture you can't remove and you want to obviously clean the carpet in between them, you can use this nozzle. It's got a fixed brush to help with the agitation. It's got your suction channel at the front that concentrates the suction, so it removes all the dirty solution up the front here, you can see it going up the front as you use it. And behind the tool on the handle, you've got your trigger that releases your shampoo solution and the spray jet is here. The other cleaning tool you get with the Vax Jewel V Advance is this spin scrub hand tool and that seals at the front of the machine on this little caddy here. Now, the spin scrub hand tool is a bit bigger than the regular tool, but it does benefit from having these rotating spin scrub brushes, and I'll show you those spinning round. When you see them spinning on the video, it looks like they're spinning quite slowly, but believe you me, they spin very fast. So you get the spinning action of the brushes. You also, of course, get the jet of shampoo solution that comes out when you've got the nozzle attached, the handle attached. You have the jet of cleaning solution, and then the spin scrub brushes agitate the solution and you remove the dirty water through the suction channel here and you can see all the muck going up through the clear head. This is where you attach your hose to the machine. There's a little flap covering it so you just lift up the flap and the hose fits in with a push and twist motion. You just have to line it up to the holes and twist until it's secure. This smaller pipe is your shampoo solution tube that needs to be connected here. So we'll just, again, it's a push and a half turn or even a quarter turn motion. Don't force it. If you don't think you've got it on right, you probably haven't. Once you get to know how to do it, it's quite straightforward. So now when we're using the machine, the suction power is diverted through the hose here. And also the solution, instead of being sprayed out the bottom of the machine when you're carpet washing, it will actually come through the solution pipe inside the hose and it will exit from this spray nozzle here. I'm just going to demonstrate now how far the hose stretches. This is not a stair cleaning hose, so you will not be able to reach right to the top of your stairs with this cleaner. I think it reaches probably about halfway. I'll test that later. If you need a machine to clean your stairs, then they do a reach version of this model that has a much longer hose. I'm just going to demonstrate the hand tool on this sofa cushion here. Now I know this is fine for wet cleaning because I've used other shampooers on this and it's been okay. If you're unsure, test a small area, an inconspicuous area for colour fastness with some of the detergent mixed in with water 
leave it to dry. If there's no adverse effects, you should be okay. Often modern furniture has a label on to tell you it's safe to clean. So before you just go all hell for leather and, and start doing it, just check first, it's always best. The same when you're cleaning carpets, obviously most carpets are colour fast and you'll be fine. But if you're not sure, always test first. So the principle of this is much the same as using the big machine. You apply the solution, you agitate it with the brush and you remove it using the suction at the front of the nozzle. Before you turn on the machine, make sure the slide control at the top is in the wash position. attachment you get with this machine, the spin scrub hand tool. I'll just show you the action of the brushes spinning but bear in mind that sometimes when they're being filmed they get a bit shy and they don't appear to be spinning at high speed but believe you me they are, it's just some effect of the camera that uh, makes them appear to run slower. So anyway, I'll switch on and show you them spinning. <laughs> They do actually spin very, very fast. I have this tool, and I've had this tool on other uh, Vax machines, and this one seems to be even better because I believe, and I can't back this up with any data, but this is just personal use, the tool suction on this machine is by far the greatest of any upright carpet washer I've used. Normally, some upright washers can be good at carpets, but when you attach the tools, the suction's a bit weak. It's not going to match the suction, you know, of a dedicated cylinder vacuum cleaner, but for a carpet washer, the suction on this is pretty good. So, I'll put the nozzle back on, and we'll just do a quick demo of this spin scrub nozzle cleaning. Now here we have an area that's ideal for using your cleaning tools on. We've got a heavy piece of furniture and the wall, and obviously you can't move big pieces of furniture before you wash your carpets and because this is such a small gap we can't get the main unit into this space. So this is where your hand tools come in use. So I'm just going to clean this area using the spin scrub hand tool. If you did, congratulations. And if you didn't, well, I can't say I can blame you. It's not everyone's cup of tea watching a video about a carpet washer, is it? But if you have watched it, hopefully you'll now be a little bit more clued up about this machine and it might help you make your decision whether or not to purchase it. Would I buy one of these? Well, yes, because I already have. I actually paid for this myself. I wasn't supplied it free of charge. So what I'm going to tell you is my opinion, and my opinion alone. Would I recommend that you buy it? Well, yes, I would. Providing you've got lots of carpet to clean, you don't mind a machine that's quite big and heavy and you can cope with a larger cleaner. If you need something smaller and lighter, there's plenty on the market for you to look at. In fact, my uh, YouTube channel does have some other machines that might be more suitable to your needs. But if you've got a larger home with large areas of carpet, then I recommend this machine 100%. It's not perfect. For example, it won't do a complete flight of stairs, but if you want to do that, there is the Reach version of this. It does have a six-year guarantee. Now, I can comment on my experience of the machine since I've owned it, just for a few days. 
I cannot comment on its long-term reliability. But as VAX give it a six-year parts and labour guarantee, if anything goes wrong, as long as it's not a part that is designed to wear out, like the spin scrub brushes, which in time you may have to buy a new one of those, you can get those from VAX direct. So if you register it with VAX within the first month of purchase, you should be covered for your six-year warranty. What's it good for? Well, it's good for cleaning large areas. It's the performance is very good. Also, the drying ability is fantastic. And I also like the rinse function. So you can rinse all the solution off your carpet. And then the max extract function is another benefit. So you can get your carpet as dry as possible. So it takes much less time to dry. The tools, very powerful suction. Like I said, the hose will not reach up your stairs. But apart from that, there's nothing much negative I've got to say about this cleaner. So if you want more information on the Vax Dual V Advance, visit Vax's website. You can even download the instruction book for this before you make your decision, which is what I did. So you can get yourself all clued up before you part with your hard earned cash. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. I will be doing edited versions of my videos, I think, in future, because I know a lot of you can't sit through some of the epic productions I make. So for those who need just a quick five minute demo, then hopefully I'll be adding those to my channel at some point. You can subscribe if you wish, and you'll be updated of any new uploads. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.